Thank you, Tony. As we told you, Sue Palka is down in uh, Wilmington, North Carolina, and she joins us live. Sue, judging from uh, Tony's map, it looks like you're right in the thick of it down there. And I couldn't be happier about it, Pat. <laughs> hey, it looks a you little look different in the last few minutes, doesn't it? <laughs> Pat, yeah. what's happening is we are getting a ferocious squall line coming in right now. The next squall line that comes in is going to be the eye of Hurricane Bertha. Bertha has a 99% chance of hitting Myrtle Beach, but that means the worst of it is coming right to where we are at Wilmington, North Carolina. Right now, we've got a 90 mile an hour wind blowing, and I'm not exaggerating. All you have to do is look at it. It sounds, the wind sounds like a ferocious animal. I'm just gonna hold my mic up so you can hear it for a second. And it's been going on for several minutes now. The trees blowing everywhere, as Tony told me, this is a Category 2 storm. It will do moderate damage. We're going to see a lot of uh, roofs blowing. We're going to see a lot of uh, windows out in a few hours. We're going to see a major storm surge of 6 to 8 feet. All of these boats are probably going to be overturned later today. We're also very concerned now that because the storm has gotten so much stronger as it crossed the Gulf Stream, as predicted, by the way, and that happened with Hurricane Andrew. It strengthened from a 3 to a 4 in the last couple hours before it hit the coast. Now we're going to see about 5 to 10 inches of rain, and we've also got a tornado watch in effect for um, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, all the way up to New Bern. So in addition to all these elements, there's a very real danger for tornadoes.